Welcome to Science with Father, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing science with you in a fun and interactive way. Enjoy! <laughs> Check this out. This happens to me all the time. I just don't understand it with humans. Can you believe that? Why would Dr. Smith make that face when I lick him? Hey, Dr. Smith, let's end this once and for all. Let's build a homemade laser microscope and compare how many microbes are in your spit in comparison to mine. Microbes, viruses, bacteria, what's the difference? Before we build our laser microscope, let's take a look at some of the things we might be seeing. Microbes and microorganisms refer to the same thing. Extremely small creatures or organic packets that we just can't see with our naked eye. There is good and bad bacteria. Bacteria are single cells that eat what is around them. Antibiotics are like an atomic bomb for killing bacteria. Vitamin C works at killing bacteria too, but acts more like a bullet and gets destroyed in the process. There isn't such a thing as a good virus. Viruses can't eat, so they have to live off their host. Viruses are a hundred times smaller than bacteria. Vitamin C kills viruses too. The remaining types of microbes include fungi, like yeast and molds, algae, which are really tiny plants, and protozoa. Protozoans are found everywhere, including our soil, air, water, and our multicellular. Most recently, we have archaeans, which are the only microbes that can survive in extreme environments, like hot springs and deep underwater vents. When building your laser microscope, it is best to use an oral syringe like that in the picture, so there are no sharp parts. Oral syringes are inexpensive, and available at the corner pharmacy and most retail stores. Both green and red laser pointers will work. Just make sure they contain fresh batteries. To analyze a sample with your laser microscope, just fill the syringe with a sample. Then push down on the syringe plunger until you create a hanging drop. Carefully place the oral syringe with the hanging drop between two glasses that serve as stands. Next, Shine the laser pointer through the drop such that the projection falls onto a wall. You can make the projection larger by moving your microscope farther away from the wall. The hanging drop acts like a lens for the laser light to pass through. Microbes in the water droplet block the laser light, and what you see projected onto the wall are the shadows of single and multi-celled microbes inside the droplet. Crazy! Dr. Smith and I did a few experiments, and here are our results. The water source for all samples taken was carbon-filtered drinking water. It would be really interesting to try lake or pond water, maybe even stagnant water. It would be fun to try a water bottle before and after sharing it with someone else. You may never share your water or soda bottle again. Possibilities are endless. Go ahead and build a laser microscope so you can find out what's in your water. What's in your water? What's in your water? Microbes and microorganisms mean the same thing. Organic life too small to see with the naked eye. There are good and bad forms of bacteria, but only bad viruses. Viruses are too small to see with our laser microscope. A laser microscope can be used to see the number of microbes in a sample, but identification of the type of microbe is difficult. <laughs>